The most common criticism I hear about Blender is that even though it's free and packed with features, it's too damn hard to learn. But is that common assumption true? Is Blender really so inscrutable and poorly documented that it breaks even the most dogged artist? The short answer is that Blender is indeed very hard to learn, though not for the reasons most people give. First, we need to put the term difficult to learn in context. Difficult to learn compared to what? For starters, all 3D animation software today is harder to learn than other creative software. I've seen this firsthand since I've taught Blender to my coworkers, all experienced media people. Even though they're able to power through it because it was their job to learn it, they all hated the experience. For example, one of my coworkers is an excellent After Effects artist. Check out the difference between opening After Effects for the first time and opening Blender for the first time. After Effects, Final Cut, Premiere, Photoshop, all these software packages are laid out in a way that makes intuitive sense. Of course, they don't truly deal with the third dimension, but they're still much easier to understand than Blender or any other 3D software. If we were to compare them to video games, Photoshop is like the game Overwatch. Although there's great depth to the game, the controls are pretty simple, and the game leads, uh, leads you into the mechanics right up front. Blender is more like Monster Hunter, a hugely complex game with tons of options, the majority of which are not even explained or even mentioned. I've played about a dozen hours of Monster Hunter, and there's still mechanics I'm discovering for the first time that the game has told me nothing about. The reason most people state as to why Blender is so hard to learn is, of course, the UI. Blender's UI is certainly non-standard, but it's hardly as terrible as people make it out. The 2.4 version of Blender? That was a terrible UI. Kai's Power Tools? That was a non-standard UI. Blender's UI is not so different from Lightwave's. Most of the buttons are text, and most have tooltips explaining, although in a limited fashion, their function. So I don't think the UI is the largest reason for Blender's learning curve. The biggest culprit, I feel, is lack of any kind of integrated learning environment in Blender. When a new user opens Blender for the first time, they're confronted with a confusing scene. There's no indication what to do, and since the default controls, such as right, click to select, are non-standard, it leads to immediate frustration. Back to the video game analogy. Imagine if Monster Hunter World uh, put you in against a Negrigante for your first battle. Even if they gave you all the best equipment, you get your ass handed to you. That's what Blender does. The UI is built for speed, and once you know what things do and have the hotkeys memorized, you can work amazingly fast. But until then, it's like typing with boxing gloves on. Compare this to Autodesk's programs that mostly have a learning mode turned on by default. These at least bring up some video tutorials, if not walking you through the basic 3D navigation and object creation features just to get the user oriented. This leads to the second reason why people uh, claim Blender's hard to learn, lack of documentation. On this count, they are right. The documentation that does exist is basically a list of tooltips printed out in an encyclopedia format. It's fine if you already know the software and want to find out what one button does, but not for learning the program as a whole. The good news is that all of these problems can be fixed. And though we might all like the Blender UI to change, it is sufficient to get things done. The real issue is how the UI is presented uh, to the new or even fairly experienced users. Here are some changes I think would help to make Blender easier to learn. First, an integrated help system like the Autodesk products. This system would have a menu for basic video tutorials and a tutorial mode that highlights different areas of the UI and what they do, as well as introducing the critical hotkey shortcuts. Of course, this feature needs to be easily turned off as in the Autodesk products. It would be simple to add something like this as a standard add-on, so Blender developers get cracking. Next, since Blender supports custom layouts, have the option to start with a beginner's layout that hides a lot of the more advanced features until ready. Also, as I stated in other videos, the lack of sample content is really hurting Blender. The ability to open a scene that highlights a particular feature, for example, the smoke and fire systems, and see how they're set up and what the common parameters are. They're also useful for kit, kit bashing, where you use the sample scene as a starting off point for your own work. And finally, yes, the Blender UI is naturally a bit strange. A fresh coat of paint on it would not hurt. I think at least the ability to switch from the stretchable windows we currently have uh, to the option for the more standard modal windows would be great. New users, users spend half their time just trying to figure out how to stretch the windows and split and combine them. I truly believe that Blender's difficulty in getting new uh, users to learn it is the primary issue holding it back from being widely accepted in the industry. 
Autodesk did the smart thing by making Maya and some of its other software free to students, as well as including some of the learning features I've talked about. They knew that in order for their software to become the industry standard, it would not just have to be uh, enough to have great features and plugins. If artists don't know the software, they're not going to use it. With a robust learning system and content bundles, Blender could take over the world of 3D software.